Memorial leads the conference at 3 and 0. They are actually tied with Victory Christian. I beg your pardon, with Tulsa Central at 3 and 0. And Washington again in conference play at 1 and 2. We'll see Central next week against this Washington team. Memorial, the defending champions of the Green Country Conference. Washington, a little more patient here, aren't they? They have been. I think they're really trying to take the ball inside if they possibly can and maybe post up Angelo Estes. Levi Harris. We didn't hear much of him in the first half, but we're getting a good look at him here in the second. And he has closed it to within just two points. Harris with eight points, four in each half. Honeycutt goes to the floor, and Washington has a chance to tie the game after being down by 15 in the second quarter. Hudson starting the second half beats Harris. Daniels again with three fouls starts to make some noise with the strong rebound. He can shoot from there. He can shoot from just about anywhere inside the three point line. 44 40 and, and that's Daniels all, has spied. And that's only the second basket Don for Memorial here in the third period. Honey cut. Gets a great no look pass and turns it into two. Well, you can imagine what the fourth quarter is going to be. Don't go away. Watkins. Oh! That would have been some kind of highlight right there. And the defense by Honeycutt, JB, at half court created the turnover. Yes, it is too long of a passing lane. He hung in there, got a little block, got a little body push, but he was still able to put it on the glass. I thought it was going to fall for it. And we talked about foul trouble. Lamont George with his third personal. Watkins misses the free throw. After he did his first two, Gallagher checks out. Johnson checks in. Chris, or uh, let's see. Number 11 to Kendall Davis back in for Memorial. Ten points for Rico Watkins. 44-43. Washington's only lead of the game was at two to nothing. They're within one now. Boy, are they fighting underneath, battling for that basketball. And a foul called on Levi Harris. Memorial was able to capitalize on breaking the press. They can't do it to here in the second half. They have not been able to do it, I should say. Nice penetration by Daniels. He got rejected by Watkins. They'll call the foul, though. Instead, on number 20, that's Angelo Estes, and that is his third person. Yeah, there wasn't much. Uh, Rico Watkins really capped it. The foul came from the far side and low. Third foul on Estes. And Daniels is now four of seven from the line and has six points. Gallagher checks in for Memorial, or will check in after Daniels' free throw if he makes it. Estes comes to the bench with three personals in place of the freshman, Trenton Chaney. So Daniels, after hits the two free throws, he exits. And Memorial is back up by three, 46-43. Little pressure in the backcourt. It worked because Washington turned the ball over repeatedly, thus being down by as many as they were. Get it out of here, says Johnson. Pitcock to Gallagher, and here comes Memorial. Nice rebound by Johnson, and he saved it, and then the foul by Hudson. It's his first, and that'll be the fourth on Washington in the third quarter. Here you see the penetration. Not much you can do in there for 
uh, to Kendall Davis. Great save in there by Pitcock, and you can see the push and the, the foul that was called. Davis looking for something inside. Pitcock got the pick. Now gets double teamed. Kicks it out. They were they were hot in the first half with six three pointers. They're still looking for their first here in the second half, and we've got a foul on the Chargers. Looks like the, the Kendall Davis. Davis up over the back. Second personal on Davis, second on the team. Two minutes to go, third quarter. What do we got? Travel called on Hudson. So the turnover gives it back to Memorial. Chargers last state championship came in 1994. Brandon Lloyd was a part of that team. He's now an assistant coach for a memorial. He went on to play collegially at UCLA. In fact, he was on those UCLA teams that lost to TU a few seasons ago. In the NCAA tournament. The... Oh my. Mamont George. He gads high off the glass. He now has a season high 12 points. What a difficult shot that is, and he made it look easy, but he has to go so high on the glass to get it over the defender. Lead back up to five. Cheney fighting inside, and we'll get a look at the freshman at the free throw line. It is tough inside. It is getting tougher. You can see every shot is contested. Every ball is contested. Pitcock might have gotten a hand in there as well, but they'll call the foul on Davis, his third. And see how this freshman looks at the free throw line. And this is the first one. His team down by five. If you look at the picks before the season, Washington was picked one, Memorial was picked two. Memorial won the championship in the conference a year ago, as I mentioned. Washington won it in 1999. George has the numbers and a nice job defensively by Hudson to get down court. Ivan Hudson, just great hustle right there, saved the basket. Nice fake. And Pitcock draws the foul. He'll take his 75% free throw shooting percentage to the free throw line. He gets by Honeycutt and gets the little up fake and Honeycutt's not going to let him get it up on the glass. Second on Honeycutt. Depth could be a problem for Memorial, obviously not as deep as Booker T, and with not much playing games, JB, because of the weather, you wonder what kind of condition this team will be in down in the late in the fourth quarter. I would imagine that most of the coaches got in some practices, uh, you know, if they can go out and play in the snow, normally get on into practice a little bit. <laughs> Spoken like a true coach. Winding down the third quarter, they need a basket, and they got a dandy from Harris. He shows you why, right there, why he's their leading scorer at 15 a game. He's got 10. Six here in the third quarter. Boy, once, once the Chargers see they have even strength once they get across the timeline they are off to the basket and you'll see some great penetration here by Nikendall Davis once he gets it he's going and not much doubt on a foul in there by Honeycutt sixth on the Hornets and Hendricks gets mugged no call Honeycutt good pass tipped away at the last second and we'll go the other way Elliot Gallagher was really squaring up there. I thought that was going to be a collision between Gallagher and Honeycutt. Memorial, uh-oh, was that not back and no. forth? No. No, he had not crossed. His pivot foot was still in the backcourt. Pitcock for the three ball. That's his third of the game. And the first of the second half for Memorial, and Pitcock leads all scores with 15 markers, and the Chargers are back up by seven. 
Washington has closed it to four, then the three, then the two. And now Memorial has come back up by seven, and they have the ball in the final five seconds of the quarter. Gallagher, great pass, Pitcock, and he gets stripped underneath with one second remaining, third quarter. We have seen a lot of fouls occur tonight in the men and the women's game with one second in a period remaining. It'll be Cheney's second, and it'll be the team's seventh, which unfortunately for Washington, J.B., when you're behind, and you put your opponent in the one and one opportunity going into the fourth quarter. That's not too encouraging. Pitcock collects his 16th point. Averaging 19.8 a game, the lead Memorial. And one of the best in the conference. And his two free throws gives Memorial a nine point lead with one second left. Nate has called a timeout so he can get something straightened out with one of the officials. I don't know what Coach Harris is upset about, but he really was upset that he wasted a timeout here with one second to go. I think it had to be with the substitution of the uh, one of the players started in and came back out. Uh, Kelvin Sango was coming in. He came back out. And I, I think that uh, I think there's a little confusion going on there. The coach Harris obviously upset. One second remaining. There was one second at the half, if you recall, and they, yeah. they got the ball down and got a shot off. They're still talking it over. Now the officials are going to have a have a little conference in there. JB pointed out that that was the situation. Nate Harris wanted once the point taken off the board because a player for Memorial was coming in during the second free throw. So the third quarter comes to a close. It's time to head to the final eight minutes of the game. When we come back, Memorial has a nine-point lead on the Booker T. Washington Hornets. They're out there. Exclusively on Cox Communications Channel 9. Along with producer Andy Irwin, Don King, J.B. Haney, and Mike Ziegenhorn inviting you to join us for TU Women's Basketball against San Jose Saturday, January 14th, or take that Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock, January 14th, Golden Hurricane and whack action, Kathy McConnell Miller's club taking on San Jose. I had the pleasure of doing the ball game Sunday afternoon. Hope you'll join us for that. Meanwhile, J.B. will be... Well, you won't be sunbathing in a while. You'll probably be coming back about that time. Look at the free throws. And you can see why Memorial, 11 more made, 11 more attempted, and leading by nine. Another interesting number is Colin Pitcock. Nine points in that third quarter alone. And Brandon Daniels gets it going again. He's got nine points. First points in the second half for him. Chargers have scored seven in a row. Well, the free throw is going to be so crucial here in the fourth quarter. Memorial's already in the one and one. So they've got eight minutes of free throw shooting, and uh, the way they hit them, it's going to be tough. It's only the fourth team foul on Memorial, but going to the line is Rico Watkins. He has completed three and five attempts at the strike tonight and has 10 points. Just a tad above his average. Nice box out, rebound George, but he gets tied up and will stay on this end. That's quick movement in there by Ivan Hudson and Levi Harris. They just immediately uh, jumped in and tied up Lamont George on a good box out. 